Welcome to Autonomous Pivot's app tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you how to download our app, how to log in, and how to use the app and some of its features. So first, you either want to go to your App Store or Google Play Store, and you want to find the Autonomous Pivot app. This is the icon, this is the name. You can click on it, download it, and once it's downloaded, you want to open the app. Once you've opened the app, it's going to prompt you with this screen to fill in your username and password. These should have been sent out in uh, email to you from us uh, last week. Once you've logged into the app, the first screen is a brief overview of your farm for quick monitoring. The thin color bars on the left indicate water status for your fields, yellow and orange meaning low, green indicating mid, and light blue showing high. The circle indicates whether the pivot is on or off, and with the blue line showing where the pivot is located. The percentage in blue represents the average of your field water bank. You can choose a specific field to look at it more closely. Our app menu is located at the bottom and has five different pages. From left to right, there are water balance and GPR, cameras, inputs balance and weather, irrigation prescription, and aerial imaging. Just a note for the aerial imaging page, this will only, the icon will only be available after the aerial images have been collected. So let's look at the GPR and water balance page. As you can see at the top under the name of the field, there's two tabs. For the water balance tab, this is showing you AP's unique water scheduling. You can choose which slice you'd like to see. Bottom scale, you have dates. The columns on top represent the inputs, blue for rain and green for irrigation. The right scale is inches, and the left scale is showing from wilting point to field capacity relating to the orange line of evapotranspiration. Looking at the GPR page, you'll be able to see the daily GPR readings. Moving on to the second page is for cameras. There's also two tabs for this page, narrow and wide. This is to see the different lenses. Above each group of pictures, you will have the date for the group. Inside each picture, you will have the time, the slice it was taken, and the gross stage of the plant. You can enter each picture to zoom in and see specific details. Those features are the same for the narrow page and for the wide page. The third page is inputs balance and weather forecast. Rain indicate, is indicated by blue columns. Irrigation is indicated by green columns. And at the top of the graph, there are dates. The left scale is in inches. And below is the weather forecast. The weather station button will show you detailed parameters collected from the web. The next screen is irrigation prescriptions and recommendations. The recommended irrigation prescription will be on the calendar graph at the bottom when to start, when to stop, how much to run, and when the next recommended irrigation is. Tapping on the blue bars will give you a history of irrigations, and you can choose which slice you'd like to see. The last page is for aerial images. Here we have supplied for RGB, NDVI, and thermal imaging. You can select those images, see their date, and zoom in as well. Thanks for watching the app tutorial. I hope this is helpful and uh, be, be ready for future tutorials to be released from Autonomous Pivot.